What's going on, Assassins? It's Dark Shot of the YouTube Assassin. And as you all know, on Tuesday, this Tuesday, we have the Tombs of the Fallen Part 2 coming out. But what did we already do and where can we find the next ones? So I'm going to explain that all to you right now. So the beginning of the quest is actually across from your settlement. It's Manius's Sanctum. And this is basically the area that I always show you guys that has the giant door. Hopefully we'll have the giant door there. You just go, you touch the Odin Illusionary Rune, and it just opens up. And that's basically the basis for everything else. The next one is over in East Anglia. You go over here to this port city, and then you just come over to Bodica's tomb, and again, touch the Odin Illusionary Rune, and you're in. Now, this one is a little bit kind of weird to find. It's right by this pond. You just have to find the little area that has kind of like a alcove of rocks there. Again, touch the rune, get inside, and solve the puzzles, which I'll also put a link in the description below to the puzzles. Uh, Yervishire, we're going over here and left. So look out, this is probably the easiest one. Uh, what you just have to do is just right at the lookout, get down, turn around, and walk along the edge here. And walking along the edge, you'll find a little space here. This is where it is. It's kind of hard to see because it's covered in nice and snow. But once you, uh, you know, see it, you touch it, you'll get in there, and it's Venutius's tomb. After that, we have the final area over in Shirosphere, uh, Castlevania's tomb. And the easiest way to get to it is probably this little port over here. And then just go south. I'll give you a little more context as to where it is. It's going to be in a rock wall. A little bit hard to find if you don't know where you're looking. But there's where it is. You're going to just touch that, get in there. Uh, I do believe, though, that in getting to the space across from the uh, settlement, that it automatically unlocks those things for you, or it shows that area. But the other two that we did not find, one is over here in Sussex, and you're going to go to that little port there, and you're just going to run along the coast. This illusionary rune is not hard to find. Uh, you know, it is hard to, like, just pass by, though, if, like, you don't know exactly, you know, to, like, look behind you and stuff like that. But there it is there. And if you are familiar with older videos that I did, you know that this illusionary rune actually had a little area that you could dive down into and kind of get into a cave behind it. And that's one of the first reasons that we believed that there was supposed to be something in these caves. It's sealed off now. The final one is over in Hamptonshire. What you're going to do is you're either going to go to the uh, Euphantune uh, Mastery Challenges or come over here to this uh, area and then just go over to that bandit camp, go south, and it's along this rock wall. This one is a little bit difficult to find because, again, it's against the rock wall and there's just a bunch of stuff going on. But I do believe that, again, once we go and we select it and whatnot, we'll be able to, like, uh, or once we go across from Ravensthorpe and uh, we see that there's more tombs, I'm pretty sure that these will be lit up somewhere on the map. Uh, that way it makes it just easier to find. Now, these were the last of two, that, or the last of six that we found over in England. Over in Ireland... There are three, and I kind of hope that they're not adding these because not everyone has the Ireland DLC. So over here in Meath, we come to Drumlish, and we're going to come down to like this little rock crag. Kind of wild area to find. Again, if they actually do unlock it, we should be able to find it. And again, a lot of you are saying that you hope that we do don't have something like this that we don't have it to where we have to go and uh do this over an island in order to get some kind of closure to like the tombs part two uh connect over here we're going to go to the port ollie 
and, or even this little area over here and you'll be able to just walk along the coast as you can see from here it's easy to see because it's lit up for some reason and this one is a little bit strange because it looks to be like it's in reverse and this is the only one that was lit up the one along the coast that i showed you that was in england that one used to be lit up and then with one of the updates they stopped lighting it up so i don't know what that means i don't know what this means uh maybe it's supposed to be like some kind of anti-illusionary rune i don't know we'll see though the final one is going to be in ulster and you're going to come over here to the Dysert, uh port again, the trade port, and just go south. And it's going to be along these rock walls here. This one, again, kind of hard to see, but your uh, saving grace is that it is along the road. So you should be able to somewhat see it. Hopefully, you could see it and find it with no problem. Again, maybe it'll be lit up. But, you know, this causes some stress for some people because, again, not everyone has the Ireland DLC, the Wrath of the Druids. So it would be kind of unfair to do that, even though we believe that there were nine in total and we did find nine. Do you think that maybe we missed a bunch more, like three more in England? Or do you think that it will span across the DLC and the main game? Do you think that there are other areas that we missed, like Vinland or anywhere else, Norway even? Let me know in the comments below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And until next time, take care, be good, stay safe. Take care of each other. I'll see you guys all in the next one. We had to get that Yayid in there.